Let's talk about another interesting game from last night, and that would be Notre Dame 32, Virginia Tech 29, and this is one that is maybe warming the seat of Justin Fuente just a little bit more. Uh, Virginia Tech led this game 29-21 to with 3 minutes and 55 seconds left in the game and found a way to lose it in regulation. And Notre Dame is not exactly an explosive offense. Like, that's what makes this even more ridiculous is you were having some quarterback issues at Notre Dame. You were having all kinds of stuff. Jack Cohn came back in, saved the day, you know, all that. It, if you look at the stats overall, Notre Dame, like, outgained them. Uh, but but it was it was nothing crazy. Like 221 yards passing to 187, 173 yards rushing to 134, which, by the way, their rushing attack looked significantly better, uh, especially in that second half, I think. Tyler Buckner led the team in passing, 6 out of 14, 113 yards, one touchdown, two picks. But Jack Cohn comes in, 9 out of 12, 108, one touchdown. Uh, this was... Uh, Notre Dame is just going to be like this all year. Like, it's going to be like this almost every game. They are just like the the cardiac Irish for whatever reason. They're the new Seattle Seahawks. They, they just don't yes. play normal football games. Every game they play, it's going to be weird. Yes. Like it's just going to be weird. It's not going to look normal. It's not going to look the way you normally like to look at. It. It's just going to be different. It's so so they scored a touchdown with two minutes and twenty six seconds left, mm-hmm. and and then of course you get right after that three plays and out for Virginia Tech, and they kick the football back to Notre Dame with a minute 49 left. Notre Dame drives 45 yards and kicks a field goal to win the ballgame. I I don't know what to make of it. Like, I, I just, it, you are, Virginia Tech was having an incredible evening. That's right. And Blacksburg was an awesome atmosphere, by the way. Yes. Awesome atmosphere. Which, by the way, this across the board, college football crowds have been Unbelievable this year. Just so good. So so that was that was part of it. But I I don't know like I don't know what to do with Virginia Tech anymore. Like they I feel like they, they should have won this ball game. I do too, but and and yet found a way to clinch uh, a loss from the jaws of victory. And <laughs> I mean, but see hell now, I think some of that is Notre Dame took it. Okay. Notre Dame yes. forced the three and out. That defense is really, really, really good. Brian Kelly coached a great game at the end of the game. He he controlled the 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 the, the play clock exactly the way he wanted. He he manipulated everything on the field exactly how he wanted it, and it all lined up right. It all yes. went right for him. But I think it it all went the way he designed the the end of the fourth quarter to go. Ethan jumped in, by the way, Ethan Broom. At one point, seven of the 11 players on the field for the offense for Notre Dame were true freshmen. Yeah, in two years, that team is going to be righteous. Yes. Maybe next year. It, it's entirely possible. Uh, we've seen sophomores be real good, too. But Yes, man. yes, you are right about that. So, uh, Virginia Tech, uh, I'm not going to say they choked it away. I'm going to say that Notre Dame took it away. And I think Notre this, Dame took it away, but I yeah. tend to give the team that won more credit than the team that lost. No, and that makes sense. I, I will say this. Brian Kelly, beyond a shadow of a doubt, I think is the better football coach there. And that's that's why you and I both bet on on Notre Dame. By the way, our picks yesterday, you and I both went eight and three against the spread. Yeah, so, not too shabby. Not, not too shabby. Uh, we got even more people watching right now. We appreciate you guys jumping in. If you would like the video for us, uh, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the podcast. All that fun stuff. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.